All right, what's up everybody? This is the first um, bench time, I guess we'll call it. In front of us, I got the LMRC Night Runner. I've already done a few mods proof rack with the, this is a MyTrick RC five inch light bar. In the front, I don't have them on, but I've got the Night Runner light buckets. Planning on doing a setup for this with the um, Super Scale 2020 system, which for that, I'm gonna need to figure out where to put that because currently the battery comes up front and I removed the tray so it sits lower. But with the battery in the front, I can't have the full interior in. I can only have the back seats because it runs from the front and back. Right now we're gonna be tackling wheels and tires. I've got a set of RC four wheel drive, Goodyear Wrangler, MT, what are these? The MTRs. These are 1.9 wheels with a diameter of 4.19. I previously bought these J-Concepts landmines, and I didn't look at the outer diameter. These are a 4.7 or something, and they are just way too big for what I want to do for this truck. These are the rims I'm going to be putting on. These are from Injura, I think. Injura? I'm not sure exactly where I got these. I don't remember. I'll put a link down in the description. I mounted up one of these J-Concepts landmines just because I was curious how it looked and how these beadlocks work. So I've never installed a pair of beadlocks. This is my first proper RC crawler. I've been using a Traxxas E Revo for the past five years. This is my first proper crawler. So curious how these work. Now I gotta take them off and put them on those four tires. Wish me luck. got all the tires mounted my brother helped me out which is sweet now we're gonna put these bad boys on they are looking good and I think this is gonna look freaking amazing when they're mounted up now I just need to get some upgraded nuts that look a little bit nicer for these got those wheels on holy crap they look good if i was bottoming out on these uh fenders before i'm definitely bottoming out on them now i'm gonna have to figure out something to do with that check that out i mean they're not a heck of a ton bigger they are decently bigger The wheels and tires are bigger and are rubbing. So we're going to start just by cutting out this lower fender body line. And then if that's not enough, then we'll go to the upper one. Tools I'm going to be using, I have an X-Acto knife and some scissors with a rounded blade. I'm not a pro by any means, but uh, yeah. I've been working with, you know, utility knives or an X-Acto knife for a while. And I found that if you hold the knife more flat, it's still just using the tip. It's easier to control than if you're holding it upright. I find it starts walking. If you hold it flat, guide it, pretty much guide the back of the blade where you want to go. The front of the blade follows and makes that nice cut for you. I lifted this, the back of the blade up as I went around that corner. Kind of came up off that, but that's okay. As long as I'm low, that's better than being high because I can just trim that later. Yeah, don't go, don't put a bunch of pressure, just go light. Careful with your fingers too. Like I have my finger there. I moved it before I got to the edge. Cause if I got to the edge and slipped, I'm cutting my finger straight open. So be careful with that. Then I have to come. Up with the nice thing about Lexan is once you do score, the blade follows the line pretty nicely. Just be light. Let's see. 
There we go. There we go. Okay, well. Get that out of there, I guess. There we go. So that's the first one cut. It's a bit rough. There's this one guy I've been watching recently who's been kind of pushing me over building like my own completely custom RC car, doing frames, you know, all of that. His name's Waffles RC. I'll put a link down in the description. I've been loving his videos recently. They've just been super entertaining and I love how all of his trucks are like completely custom. Yeah, so that's first issue. This inner fender, so I'm going to have to do something to move that up a little bit. We'll see how that's going to work. is flush and it's not that intrusive with the shock towers i was thinking there's gonna be like way way bigger holes no this is like pretty slim so if i don't need to if i don't end up relocating the battery to the rear and doing something with that i don't think i'm gonna do a like storage box back here to hide and give me more room i think i may just keep this because it doesn't look that bad you know it's a scale truck the shocks are going to be, you know, iffy iffy about his front of the truck. You can tuck pretty much all the way. Back of the truck is, you know, still pretty high. But, you know, that's alright. I still get a bunch of travel on the rear. Three stock tires, and we're still touching on the front here. Roll of duct tape barely. So almost three tires under there, just shy. This rig is turning out amazing. I'm loving everything about it so far. This, yeah, it's better. It's better than I imagined. So let me know what you think of this beautiful truck. Let me know what you would do for this truck. What you would put on it. Let me know what rigs you guys are running down in the description down below. I'm curious. I want to see what you guys are running. Maybe I'll buy a truck if you guys recommend it to start building uh yeah thank you guys so much i'll link tires wheels down in the description down below thank you guys so much for watching peace out